Welcome to the Types section of the C-Sharp course. Now in this section, we're going to talk all about types in C-Sharp, how they're used, how you can create new types, and how they actually work in a lot of different scenarios. Now C-Sharp has a lot of types built in for us to use, but there's a couple really important things that we want to understand about how C-Sharp works. For one, C-Sharp is a strongly typed language. So if you're used to a language like JavaScript, then you're not really used to having to worry about type safety and casting and things like that because JavaScript is a dynamic language where none of those things matter. Now, uh, in C Sharp, we have to be a little bit more explicit about the types that we use. So let's go through and just look at a couple of types. So the way that we declare a variable in C Sharp is that we can start with the name of the type. For instance, let's say that we wanted to have a string called name with my name in it. I'll say string name, and I'll just put Matt Landers here. And when we say strongly typed, what we mean here is that we've said what the type of this object is, the name object, right? It's a string. So if I come down here and I try to set it equal to one, I'm gonna get an error because one is a number, not a string. Now, if you're used to JavaScript, this would have worked fine for you. But in a strongly typed language, types have what we call type safety. And this allows us to get these errors at design time rather than at runtime. And by design time, I mean while we're coding before we actually try to run the application. So if I were to try to run this right now, I'll hit F5, I'll get errors that I can't. If you're used to something like JavaScript, then you can always run your program. You're gonna get errors only at runtime. Um, so that's uh, how type safety can work in C Sharp. And this will prevent you from introducing a lot of bugs that would otherwise end up in your code if you could only find them at runtime. Because you may not hit that code until certain scenarios happen. Uh, in a small application like this, we're always gonna hit it. But if we have a really large application and we have a type mismatch, we wouldn't know that unless there was a runtime error. Now there's a bunch of types in here. I can have an integer for like maybe an age. Yeah, I'm 20, sure. Um, and then there's a, a lot of different types that we're gonna go into in other videos. But basically what I want you to understand here is that C Sharp is a strongly typed language and we're going to use those types uh, whenever we declare variables. And everything that you declare is a type. So if you create a new class and you create an instance of it, those are types, enums, structs. There's a lot of different things that we're gonna be going through over the next couple of series of videos that are gonna introduce you to all the different types, how you can use them, and then how they work in different scenarios in the program.